stock market is about to make a huge move, but which direction is it about to go? It's Wincrease.com and I'm about to teach you how to use technical analysis. You know, first and foremost, we go to the S&P, but before I jump into that, my chart. My chart is set up the way I love it, and it's because I have a lot of experience. But for you, your chart may not look anything like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually step my chart to the level that most people are going to look at it for the very first time. I'm gonna take off all of the different lines that I got going on here that may confuse you, and we're gonna make it very, very simple. So if you're in Thinkorswim, all you need to do is study sets. And all you have to do is load different ones. You save them, and then you have access to them later. I'm gonna put mine on default, all right? Now, <laughs> we have a clean slate for everybody to look at so they can go along with this, all right? Now, back to the S&P. S&P closed at 3,825 and 33 cents. And let's take a look at what the action is for this week. So we see our trend that we are continuing now to the downside, but whew, all right. So we made a move lower, push higher, and then an attempt to move lower, and then it pushed back up towards the end of the week. So what is this telling me right now? We are still looking at a struggle. There is a fight going on between the bulls and the bears. Somebody is about to get slugged out here. And right now, it is looking like the bears are about to catch a fade route because this here is showing me that the bulls are looking to regain control. We made our move towards our 36 and we didn't fully get there. However, we did start to move back higher and we're around at 38 and this is where we fell from before. We tested it out, pushed lower, we closed below 39 and now we're looking to see if next week we're going to regain that. If we get some steam back to there, we're likely going to get back above 4,000 and I am looking for that to happen next week. I'm looking to see if we're going to get back above 39 100. If we get there, we have a good chance of getting back to 4,000. So that is the S&P. Let's check out how the boys at the Russell did. And we use ticker, let's get my typing right, IWM. So IWM closed at 171.41. Let's zoom in. Remember, if you made it this far, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. We can have a conversation. IWM closed at 171.41 and we also see similar action here. Remember, we called for the move to 160. We got as low as 162 and some change and we started to make a reversal here. We're hanging around our 200 day moving average. And as you can see here, if we go backward, we see some price action here where it went straight up. And now we are starting to chop back and forth in between this very same range. I'm looking to see if IWM is gonna actually get back towards 180. I wanna see 180 next week. I wanna see that happen next week. So let's check that out for IWM. Next on the list, we got, you know, the Dow Joint Jones boys here, DJI. So the Dow closed at 31,000. In $97.26. And so let's look at how it performed over the week. We saw over time this just got broken down. And we've had the consistent lower lows, lower highs. We discussed this over the past weeks. So do we have a lower high getting ready to make another lower low? Or do we have the potential for the reversal? This is why I love technical analysis, because you don't know. <laughs> a lot of people will say it means nothing because you're just guessing, right? No, we're looking for clues and we're looking for confirmations. This is what technical analysis is. We want the confirmation. The confirmation that I'm looking at is a close back above 31, 
Let's see, that's 31,380, right? So I want to see a close above that. We're at 3197, so that's about $300 away, right? I want to see that close above there. If I can get that close above there, then we have a very good shot of getting back above 32 and back to around 33,000. From there is where we're going to see if the market is real or not. If it is, then we have a rally on our hands to the upside. We're going to watch for that, all right? So next week, we're looking for Dow to get back above 31,380 or so, all right? And that's a Dow. And lastly, let's go over, trounce all over the NASDAQ block. The NASDAQ closed at 11,585 and 68 cents. And let's look at the performance for this week. The NASDAQ was one of the weaker ones where it pushed higher and ultimately almost closed near where those lows at, but it didn't. <laughs> that is what is a good signal for the NASDAQ. We're going to see that this continuation is actually going to go to the upside next week to get back above 12,000. So that is it. Let's wrap this one up here. We have all four indexes that are showing a fight. There is a fight going on in these streets here in the Dow and the S&P and the Russell and in the NASDAQ. All of them are showing some type of chin right now where it got tapped in. <laughs> That's all you got? So we're going to see if next week they're going to end up coming back swinging and knocking these bears out. So, I want you to make sure that you take care of yourself. We got a holiday week. Some of us have three day weekends. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. You only have so much time. Make sure that you enjoy it. Me, myself, we're going to head out there to see Minions. Me and my daughter are going to see Minions. And I'm looking forward to this weekend to just relax. Make sure you do the same. Stay healthy. Drink your water. Please drink your water. Take care of yourself. Get your exercise in and make sure you get some laughter because that's always the best medicine for pretty much everything, all right? Check you next week. Peace.